Okay, so you've been out there searching the web. You found all this great open license content. You got some of it on your hard drive. You got some of it in Dropbox. It's on a flash drive. It's bookmarked. Do you ever feel like you're just accumulating all this stuff? And anytime you're trying to find something, you're just digging through the pile, hoping that you're going to come up on the piece that you're looking for? Wouldn't you be so much happier if all your OER content was in this, like, great looking bookshelf where you could find things and it was alphabetized or by subject. Well, what I want to show you real quickly is a tool, an add-on browser extension that will help you with this. It's not the answer to all of the world's problems, but I think that you'll find that if you use it, it's really going to enhance your experience finding, locating, and adopting this OER content. So this is what we've got. Um, it's Digo, and it's basically a bookmarking website that allows you to bookmark and tag web pages. It also lets you highlight parts of web pages, um, attach sticky notes, and because we get the free educator edition upgrade, we can literally create lists that we can then share with our students in our classes. So let me show you what this looks like once you get signed up. This is my library. And what you can see in my library is I've just got a list of stuff, but it really is could become very jumbled up. Instead, what I use is I use the list function. What you'll see is I've got lists for all of my different resources. Notice it says it's private. I make my lists private, but I could just as easily turn on the public outward facing um, tool and anybody could search for my lists. So I'm going to go to my 216 resources and what you'll see is now these are just resources that I have found that have to do with my Business 216 class. You'll notice right here there's a little yellow one. What's that little yellow one? It's a sticky note that I placed on this website that told me that that was okay but not exactly what I was looking for. I may want to go back to it but I just wanted to give myself a note that hey that wasn't the best. How did I accomplish all this? Watch this. So while you weren't looking, I went to the introductory um, stats book by David um, Stockberger. This is actually a public domain text. Um, and I wanted some information on finding area under the normal curve, which I think is fascinating. You all may not, but I think it's amazing. So I decide that I really like this. It's got this really great interactive exercise that my students can, can use. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here <coughs> to the corner and I'm going to hit my little D. And my D will allow me to annotate it, save it, read it later. I could take a screenshot. I could share it. But what I want to do is I want to save it. And as soon as it says save, I want to save it as read later. And I'm going to put cool interactive exercise for, well, not much of a typist this morning. And cool interactive for normal curve. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to a list and I'm going to put it in my resources for Business 216. If I had a student group, right? in other words, if I wanted to just be able to put together a list of things I wanted my students to do, then I could immediately share this out to that group and it would be added to the list and the group that my students are in. So I'm just going to go save. You'll see now it's got a little bookmark that says, hey, you've saved this website. So when I find the same resource 10 times, it'll tell me 
Hello, you've already seen this. Go to something new. Let me show you what it looks like back in my library. So I've come back here to that list, which was my resources for business 216, and there it is. So it's been added, and over here I've got all of my, I can mark it as read. This tells me, hey, you said you were going to read it later. I could cache it if I wanted to. I could preview it. I could edit it, or I could just get rid of it. So I can create virtually as many lists as I want. I could actually over here, I could share my list, print my list, edit my list, or throw it away. So it's a great way for you to begin to organize your OER content so that you can transform your stuff from this to this.